I am Razio. Holy shit! Oh, fuck! God damn it! Fat! What's up, guys? Razio here. Welcome to Quick and Painful. Uh, this is a short series that I'm starting to do where I just do really quick videos, and this is the first one in the series. So, without further ado, I want to talk about World of Warcraft and what's going on right now with some interviews that have been uh, dropped regarding Dragonflight. And we kind of see, I'm just going to give my quick opinion about it, and then I want your guys' opinion down below. So it looks like uh, the biggest things I want to hit on here, as you can see, is that uh, the lessons learned, again, with borrowed power. No borrowed power. We've been talking about this for a long time. Uh, I'm of the opinion borrowed power in an online game is, in any game really, is absolutely fucking terrible, especially a game like World of Warcraft or any other MMO for that matter. So they say there's a change in philosophy. Now we know in my we know that this is being forced on Blizzard because Shadowlands was so terrible that the Blizzard is forced into it based on the fact that they're they've lost the vast majority of their players at this point and they have to change mindsets completely. They have to abandon all the philosophies they've been using uh, since Legion up to now. So they say that uh, it's a philosophical shift. That's what Ian Hazakasa said. And uh, that everything in the changes they're doing is they want all power to be permanent and to come from talent trees. And that's something that Blizzard can continuously reiterate on and change up. But it's going to be a permanent feature. Uh, so your power stays with your character. Not, not only that, but uh, the... Most of the things in the game will now be account-wide, such as uh, everything you do with the new dragon flying, uh, all the, the, the main stuff that progresses your character will be account-wide. You don't have to redo story or redo a bunch of stuff with, uh, you know, your alternate characters. And so it's going to be the most alt-friendly in, in a way. I mean, because you can see Blizzard now really looking back at Vanilla WoW and uh, the first two or three versions of WoW, Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King, seeing that they were the most beloved versions of the game. And now they're being forced to abandon all their shitty, poor ideas that they've been trying to force down everyone's throats for the last, you know, decade. Uh, and go back to what, with what fucking just works. Um, legendaries, again, are not going to be a thing in Dragonflight. It's another thing I wanted to point it out. And it, with the uh, exception of the rare occasional legendary drop off a final boss of a raid or a craftable legendary, much as we saw in, in Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, with how legendaries worked back then. But the days of equipping legendaries becoming common or gone um also no mission table the mission table is being completely removed there will be no new mission table uh in the game as far as a uh, story is concerned uh they're they're adding back in um there's not going to be any single player content two to three uh, player content like a torgast or you know the visions from bfa instead they're just going to put open world locations that are really really hard and uh the, the best way to be successful there is going to be to team up. So, hey, that I think that's, that, that's fucking fantastic. That's what it was like in Vanilla WoW with, you know, areas full of elites and shit that you, unless you were insanely good, uh, you couldn't clear by yourself. Even if you could, it would be slow. So I'm interested in to see how they make that work. Are they going to be live events like Guild Wars 2 has? We have we have yet to, to see. Also, with, uh, with this shit, we, we're seeing that... Um, how leveling will work, they're going to reintroduce crummy time, but they're doing something interesting, even though they're adding a shitload of dungeons in this expansion, uh, only four of them will be Mythic Plus enabled, and they say they're doing a Mythic Plus overhaul, but we don't have details on that yet. Hopefully, maybe some of my ideas creeped in there about how to make keys more fun, but then they're adding in old dungeons from old expansions in the rotation. I personally think that's a great idea to keep old content coming back and make it relevant. Uh, we'll see how, you know... It's executed though, because as we know, uh, no matter how good an idea is, if it's executed like shit, it's going to be bad. And Blizzard excels at doing that, so uh, we'll we'll see how how that goes. Um, they are still looking at more cross realm guilds as an option, uh, but they're they're going to you know keep their eye on it and the pulse on the community. I think it, uh, cross realm guilds would be great, especially considering that they they're already forced doing cross faction grouping now because no one plays alliance. And the servers are all sharded anyway, so who gives a fuck? I, I think that that would be fine. Uh, they're tweaking the Great Vault and re making it better than it was in Shadowlands. And I thought the Great Vault was one of the only good things to come in Shadowlands. I actually liked it. But um, they say the expansion is pretty far along and Alpha is coming soon. So they're a little further along than I thought. I still don't think we'll see 
this uh, expansion come out until uh, first quarter of 2023. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on the change in philosophy, as they say, is coming for uh, Dragonflight? Has it re-perked your interest in WoW at all? Uh, me personally, I'm going to see how it is before I make any decisions. Um, I, I'm going to try to get in the alpha and in the, I mean, not alpha, in the beta and test it for myself. And of course, if I do, I'll give you guys my thoughts. But guys, thoughts, comments down below. I'm really starting to steamroll and make some more content. So uh, yeah, hit the like button and, and share it if you liked it. If you didn't, go fuck yourself. I don't care. Uh, have a good one, guys. As always, my friends, keep it real.